believe, and you're here in the office of the Always Believe House. Got to come to my house at Christmas because it is going to be a one of a kind decorations outside. It has an Always Believe Hall of Fame. Anyway, today we uh, did literal equations the last two days in here. Hopefully you're getting better at that. Remember, that's the hardest thing you'll do in this class before Christmas. So don't panic if that's hard, okay? You'll get the hang of it. Today we're going to learn how to solve inequalities. Oh, oh, oh. And let me go ahead and start recording in the Zoom. Okay, we are recording. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's go through and solve inequalities. Basically, you're going to solve just like an equation, but you want the letter on the left. Okay, and also you're going to draw what your possible answers are. Now then, let's look up to here, because some of y'all don't know your inequalities. If it points to the left, it is less than. This would be less than or greater than, so this is less than. Oh, if I can spell right. If it points to the left, it's less than. These are greater thans. You are going to have to say these without, this is going to be hard for y'all. You're going to have to say these, okay? Instead of like saying true or false, you're going to have to actually verbalize them. So if the arrow is pointing to the left, you will say less than. Okay, you will also graph these. If you have x greater than or equal to a number, you're going to draw a closed dot and your arrow will go to the right. If you have x less than or equal to a number, you're going to draw a closed dot and the arrow will go to the left. If the x is on the left, that's important. So when we solve these, we're always putting the variable on the left. If you have x less than a number, you'll draw an open dot and the arrow will go to the left. Y'all grab these in 6th, 7th, 8th grade, but you did not solve them. And then lastly, if you have x greater than some number, you're going to draw an open dot and your arrow will go to the right. Okay, and we'll get into this. So learn how to do this. You're going to do fine. So let's go to number one. Okay, this number is where we draw the dot at. So we're going to draw a dot on the negative five and leave it big enough. I'm going to zoom in here. Leave the dot big enough so you can actually see if it's open or closed, okay? So I'm going to draw an open dot on the negative 5. Let me do this in red, okay? Now then, there is an equal bar right here, right? So we have less than or equal to, so we're going to shade in that dot. And then how this is how you say this. I want all of my answers to be smaller than negative 5. I want all of my answers to be less than negative 5. I want all of my answers to be smaller than negative 5. So to get smaller, would you go to the left or the right? Correct. You're going to go to the left. So we're going to draw a graph of this to the left, and this is important. Let me do this in blue. Look at your inequality and your arrow tip. They will match up if the variable's on the left. So it's important we're putting the variable on the left and then drawing your arrow in the direction of your inequality. Let's go to number two. We have n less than or equal to five, okay? So we're going to put the dot over the five, leave it open. We have the equal bar, so we're going to shade it in. I want all of my answers to be smaller than five. So I'm going to draw an arrow to the left and go all the way to the end and draw your tip. Notice that the tip and the inequality will point in the same direction. Ho, 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 ho. That's just like eating a single stuff Oreo. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Toots loves Oreos. Okay, let's go to number four. Now we're going to write the inequality. So on this one, we're going to put X. And notice our arrow tips going that way. So we have less than. The dot's closed. So we're going to put an equal bar and the dot's over the five. So this graph represents all of the numbers that are less than or equal to five. The numbers to the right would make that a false sentence, would it? Okay, let's go to number four. Okay, let's put x, and we have the dot over the negative one. The arrow tips to the left, so we put less than. And notice the dot's open, so there's no equal bar. So this graph represents x less than one. Notice that negative one makes this false. So that's why you leave the dot open. Make sure we can see that the dot's open or closed. Okay, 
Now then, you're going to solve equations. So if you have fractions or parentheses, you get rid of them. Then you move the letters to the left, the numbers to the right. So move all variables left, move all constants right. Okay, and also remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative, you must flip the inequality. You did that in junior high. Hopefully you remember, okay? But if you multiply or divide by a negative, the inequality will flip. Oh, ho, 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 let's continue on. So let's solve these. This is going to be so much fun, just like eating an Oreo cookie. Now then, on this one right here, I don't know why they use double signs, but do you all remember my robot faces? So we're going to have y minus 2 less than 6. Oh, look, not a 2 with 6. Okay, so to move that 2 across, you're going to add a 2, aren't you? So we'll end up with y less than 8. y less than 8. Now then, the way you want to graph this, you always put 0 on your number line. And then you put the number you need to put. So we need this number on the number line. 8 is to the right in it. So just go over here and put an 8. Now we're going to draw our dot and draw our arrow. So the 8 would need an open dot, and we would not shade it in, would we? Because there's no equal bar here. And we want all of our answers to be less than 8. All of our answers to be less than 8, so the inequality goes to the left. Okay, notice that the inequality and the arrow tip will be the same, won't they? If the letter's on the left, so make sure your letter's on the left. If it ends up on the right, flip the whole thing around, then graph it. It's the easiest way to get these right. Oh, let's go to number two. On this one right here, what are we doing with the negative, the 8, and the P? We're the multiplying, right? The opposite of multiply is divide, and we're going to divide by a negative, aren't they? If you multiply or divide by a negative, write down the word flip. You're going to flip that inequality. So we're going to have P, not greater than, but less than. Two negatives makes a positive, and 32 divided by 8 is 4. So I need to graph P less than 4. So I need 0 on my number line. I also need a 4, which is on the right side. It's a positive number. And then I'm going to draw an open dot over the 4. Always put 0 in the number you need if there's no numbers on the number line. Now then, which way is my inequality point? It's going to the left end. Okay. So I'm going to do P less than 4, which is all the numbers that are smaller than 4. And it's go this way. Notice your inequality and your arrow tip is the same if the letter's on the left. Oh, just like eating an Oreo cookie. Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Toops needs some Oreos. Okay, so we're going to go to number three. Oh, on this one here, we're going to take the 12, move it across, and divide by three, won't we? So we're going to take our 12. This isn't hard. Move it across. We're going to get 3a greater than or equal to 18 minus 12 is 6, and then divide both sides by 3. So we're going to end up with a greater than or equal to 2. You've got to be used to saying the greater than or less than. You are not writing these and saying true or false anymore like you did in elementary. You've got to be able to physically say it. So I want all of my answers to be more than or greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so I need to draw 0 on the number line. 2 is a positive number, it goes to the right, and I'm going to draw an open dot over the 2. Do I need to fill it in? Yes, because I have an equal bar. And then I need it to be greater than 2, which is to the right in it. So I want all of the numbers to be more than 2. Notice that the inequality and the arrow tip are pointing in the same if the arrows on the, or the variables on the left. Oh, just like an Oreo cookie. Let's go to number four. On number four, we got a blue belt truck. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Toops loves driving the blue belt truck. The blue belt truck is going to go to the X and the 5. So we're going to end up do sign number letter twice, right? A negative times a positive is a negative. The number is 3. The letter is X. Sign number letter. A negative times a negative is a positive. 3 times 5 is 15. Less than or equal to negative 20. Now then, we're going to move over the 15 and then divide by negative 3, aren't we? And when we divide by that negative, we're going to flip, aren't we? So let's move over the 15 first, and we'll end up with negative 3x less than or equal to negative 35. And this is going to be a fraction here. 
So we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. When we do that, write down flip. That inequality is going to flip. So we'll get x greater than or equal to 2 negatives makes a positive. Put 35 over 3, which would be, if you divide it out, 11 and 2 thirds. Yeah, 11 and 2 thirds. I don't know why, but they're going to leave it 35 over 3 on your star. I don't know why, but they leave it improper. So let's draw our number line. We need 0 on the number line, and we need 11 and 2 thirds, but we're going to put 35 over 3. If this were a number line, you would put this between the 11 and the 12, wouldn't you? At 11 and 2 thirds. But you leave it 35 over 3. Now then, we're going to draw an open dot, and that open dot needs to be filled in because we have an equal bar, don't we? Now then, the less than symbol got flipped to greater than, didn't it? So I want all of my answers to be greater than or equal to 11 and 2 thirds. So we're going to move that number to the right, aren't we? All the numbers to the right are true. All the numbers to the left are false. And remember, I'm repeating this again, but your inequality and your arrow tip point in the same way if the variable's on the left. So make sure your variable's on the left. Oh, let's go to number five, or you try, okay? So work this out, pause the video, see if you could do it, and then play and see if you did it right. So pause the video, and then you're going to listen to Mr. Toops do the problem. Just like eating an Oreo cookie. Oh, 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 oh. So this one right here, we're going to move the 5 over. This will be a fraction also on it. And then we're going to divide by 2. So we're going to add 5. You're going to get 2x less than 23. Divide by the 2. And you'll get x less than 23 over 2. And if you do the math, that's going to be 11 and a half if you make it mixed. So we need 11 and a half, don't we? So we're going to draw 0 on the number line. Go to the right because we have a positive. Leave it as 23 over 2, which is going to happen on the star. Draw an open dot. Okay, do we need to shade in the dot? There's no equal bar, so we won't. And we want all of the answers to be smaller than or less than 11 and a half. So the arrow is going to go to the left. And remember, your arrow tip and your inequality will match up if the variable's on the left. Oh, just like eating an Oreo. Let's go to number two. On number two, we got a fraction. Remember to get rid of the fraction first by driving the Bluebell truck. Oh, oh, oh. So what's in our denominator? It's 13. The opposite of divide by 13 is multiply by 13. 13's cancel out, and you get B greater than 13 times 2 is 26. So put 0 on the number line, put 26 down, draw an open dot, and the arrow is going to go to the right. We want all of the answers to be greater than 26. So our arrow goes to the right, and notice again, the inequality and the arrow tip are going to be the same if the variable's on the left. If your variable's on the right, you got to flip it. Oh, Let's go to number three, or pause this. So pause this video, see if you could do it, and then watch Mr. Toops. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so on this problem here, we need to drive a Bluebell truck, don't we? So we're going to drive a Bluebell truck to the stores. We're going to get 10z minus 5 greater than or equal to 9. Now then we're going to move over the 5 and divide by the 10, and we're going to get another fraction. That's okay. So move the 5 over, and we're going to get 10z greater than or equal to 14, divide by the 10. Now then, if you're on a school calculator, one of the TI inspires, when you do 14 divided by 10, it's going to give you 7 over 5. And you're just going to leave it at 7 over 5. If you wanted to know what that really was, it's 1 and 2 fifths in it. But we're going to put 7 over 5 on the number line. So we're going to put two numbers on the number line, always put 0. 7 over 5 is positive. And then we're going to draw a dot. We need an open dot, and we're going to shade it in because it's greater than or equal, right? So shade it in, and we want it to be greater than, so it's going to go to the right. So we just graphed all of the numbers that are greater than 7 over 5. All the numbers that are greater than 7 over 5 work. To the left, they won't work. That's basically what you're graphing here. So more than one answer works with an inequality, and you're showing all the answers. Let's go to number four. Oh, oh, oh. Number four's got some decimals.
tools. Yeah. So use your calculator. Pause the video. See if you can do it on your own. And then watch Mr. Toops do it with more power. If you won't, eat an Oreo cookie while you do the problem. Oh. Okay, so let's go. We're going to distribute the 1 and 2 tenths. Okay, so we're going to get a positive times a negative is a negative, and multiply you, we get 3 and 6 tenths x, plus 1 and 2 tenths times 5 is 6, less than or equal to 4, point, 4 and 6 tenths. Now then we're going to subtract the 6 and divide by the negative 3 and 6 tenths. So subtract the 6 across. Okay, and I'm doing this without a calculator, so I hope I'm doing it right. Negative 3 and 6 tenths x is less than or equal to, and that's going to subtract and give us negative 1 and 4 tenths. 4.6 minus 6.0 would be negative. There's more ne negatives. The negative is bigger than the positive in it, so your answer is going to be negative. Now then we're going to divide both sides by negative 3.6. Since we're dividing by a negative, we're going to write down flip. And we're going to flip that inequality. So we'll get x greater than or equal to, and 1 and 2 tenths would simplify this. So this is going to simplify to 2 over 3. And 2 negatives makes a positive, doesn't it? So 2 over 3 would be our fraction. That's where we're going to put the dot. Notice it's also positive. So on the number line, put 0. And then 2 thirds would be pretty close to the 0. Let me write it correctly. We're going to put an open dot over the two-thirds, and we're going to shade it in because of the equal bar, and we need all the numbers that are greater than or equal to two-thirds, so we're going to draw this. Your arrow tip and your inequality match up again, don't they? Oh, so much fun. Okay, let's do number five. On number five, we're going to have to graph it and figure out which ones work. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so let's write down 3x minus 5 less than 16. We're going to add the 5 and divide by 3, aren't we? So if you had a calculator, you would punch 16 plus 5 divided by 3, and that would be your number, wouldn't it? Okay, so we're going to move over the 5. We're going to get 3x less than 21. Do it the same way you're doing it with the equations, and we'll end up with x less than 7, won't we? Now then draw the number line. Put 0 and 7 on the number line. We're going to need an open dot, so 7 won't work, will it? And the arrows go to the left. Any number that's in this blue arrow will work. Is 12 in it? 12's over here. 12 won't work. Will 10 work? 10's over here. It won't work. 7 won't work because the dot's open, and negative 1 works. So the negative 1 would be in the answer set, would it? Anything more than 7 will not work, which eliminates the 12, 10, and the 7, doesn't it? Oh, kidding this. Just like eating a mega stuff Oreo. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all are going to need some Oreos after this week. Okay, really quickly, number six. What is not a possible solution? So in this one, we're going to do not. So write down x minus 3 greater than or equal to 5. We're going to move over the 3, and we want all of our answers to be more than 8, don't we? So draw a number line. Let's put 0 and 8 on the number line. Close dot. That means 8 works, and the arrow goes to the right, greater than. Now then, we want the one that's not a solution, okay? So 15 is a solution. 8 is a solution. 6 is not a solution, and 8.1 is a solution. So 6 would be the one that would not work because it's not under the answer set. Okay, I hope you've had a blast. You have a lot of fun problems for the homework. You're going to have a blast doing this. Let me stop recording. Okay, Mr. Toops has, he cares a lot about you. I hope you're getting these lessons. Can't wait for you to come into my classroom. So, so you won't see me on a video. You'll see me in real life. That'd be kind of cool. Remember, you are awesome and always believe.